to volunteer their questions on topics ranging from the war, the economy, and some issues that John McCain and Barack Obama may not expect. You just never know what they're going to say. Senator Omar Alexander is the senior senator here from Tennessee. <laughs> he joins me here in Nashville. Senator, good, eve uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome, Chuck. Thank so you. it looks like evening. It's it is. rain. We, we've gotten dark here tonight. <laughs> Uh, you just heard the president. Uh -huh. uh, you're up for re-election. I imagine you're talking to a lot of voters who are going to the bailout. You voted for the yeah. for the bailout or rescue package, however we want to word it. How do you put it in English to the average Tennessean when they say, "Why did why did we have to do this?" Uh, it, it's like a big wreck on the highway. What I say is just imagine that we had a big wreck out on I-40 from Nashville all the way to Cookville, mm -hmm. and in the eight-lane highway, you had your payroll check in one lane, and you had your auto loan in another lane, and you had your farm credit loan in another lane, and you had uh, your home mortgage money for your home mortgage in another lane. I think the first thing you do is call the sheriff or somebody and say, get that wreck off the highway right. and let my payroll, my auto loan, my credit money through. That's the easiest way to describe this, and that's what the Congress tried to do last week, to give the secretary the money. Get the wreck off the highway. We can argue about whose fault it was next week. Get right. the wreck off the highway. Let the money through so people can get a car, buy a home, keep their business open. A couple poll numbers from our recent NBC Wall Street Journal poll made it seem as if the only people that got blamed this last month was members of Congress. You're running for re-election. Are you feeling the anger out there at Washington oh, at you? Oh, sure. Sure. Sure I am. And, and people have a right to be angry about it because going all the way back to 1977, Congress basically and the president, both several administrations, have been encouraging people to buy homes they couldn't afford. And then the next people who came along were the Wall Street uh, tycoons who right. turned them into all these instruments, which no one understood. Those two things are the reason for the problem, and we should have had better oversight of that. Very quickly... Two of your border state senators also up for re-election Republicans, Mitch McConnell in Kentucky, Elizabeth Dole in North Carolina. Why are they in trouble? Why are they struggling with their Those are more more competitive than you. more competitive yeah. states. And Senator Obama is spending a lot of time in, in North Carolina. I think Mitch will win by a good margin, and I think Elizabeth will win by several points. I remember she was at the Republican brand. Is it Congress, or is it just the lethal combination of the, both right the, now with voters? This is a difficult year for Republicans, and so what I do mm -hmm. is I make sure that I tell people where I stand and what I'm doing. I voted for the congressional action last week, but I'm explaining to people that if I didn't do that, mm -hmm. your bank's going to call your business loan and you're going to be out of business, or a the people in the car dealerships around Nashville, just where we are, can't get auto loans today. They're getting turned down, and a third of our manufacturing jobs are based on auto loans, and so if people can't, I mean, auto are based on automobiles, so if people can't get their loans, they're not going to buy cars, and we won't have jobs. People understand that after are I Are you satisfied with how Senator McCain is talking about the economy? I think he's doing well. What, what, he, what I hope he does tonight is he talks about the future. He needs to make the race about the future and say, look, somebody's got to take on the terrorists, Wall Street. Street Congress and the special interests all at once. That takes a tough, experienced man. I'm your guy. Senator Alexander, thank you for joining us. Thank, <laughs> thank you for you your Chuck. hospitality Glad you're here. here.